Drones are becoming more and more integrated into various industries by the day. And the agricultural sector is no different. The citrus industry is the second largest export market in the world. But the sector in South Africa can suffer from false coddling moth pests that can ruin entire shipments. Cape Town tech startup Fly H2 Aerospace, though, is developing a drone sterile insect delivery system that can reduce false coddling moth levels to undetectable. We have underwing hoppers where we store the insects and uh, we then fly over the orchards and release the insects at a predetermined rate. Uh, when, the, when the hopper is empty, we then return uh, to the takeoff point and we refill it and uh, take another flight. And this way we estimate we can probably cover about 20,000 hectares a month with one aircraft and one team. The ground will effectively replace the current work done by crop spraying aircraft, which can be costly and dangerous. Already three pilots have died in the region during the last three years. It's also not exclusively designed to focus solely on the citrus industry and the local agricultural sector. Applications are not just in citrus. You know, the false coddling moth is found in avocados, it's found in macadamias, cotton. It's a huge problem in uh, many other crops. So in our mind's eye, and uh, we've seen this um, already, people have been approaching us from East Africa, uh, from Australia, uh, where they don't have false coddling moth, but they have fruit flies. Uh, the interest there is to adapt the system, which is one of the only ones of its kind, to keep insects cool and to release them in a carefully controlled and uh, effective way. Now that drones have become cheaper and easier to operate, it's likely more industries will seek its many operational benefits. While drones are regulated in South Africa, the law does provide for its use in a variety of applications and sectors. And that has led to a wider adoption of the technology. We've got two drones that we are working with as a department to say, well, how do we uh, swap from satellite technology, which is very expensive, to drone technology, which is way cheaper and, of course, can be used more often. A satellite will only cross once a day. You can send out a drone at any time you like to go and get your readings that you want. For now, prototyping of the drone has taken place and a fixed-wing remotely piloted system is the aircraft in use. It's also been built robust and hardy to tackle the important mission ahead in the citrus sector. Representative Andrew CGTN, Cape Town.